video, we're curing a thousand people's blindness. This is the first out of a thousand deaf people that we're gonna help cure again. This is the largest stadium in the world and inside are the 10 big- I spent two and a half million dollars on this private jet and had a le- I just bought this train and it is currently barely full speed towards- This video, $100,000 will be given to- uh, well, I don't have any cash, but- What's up, me? Now, I know you're gonna forget about this video. Jimmy Donaldson, the person the online world knows as Mr. Beast, is the biggest YouTuber on the planet. And with that popularity comes large sums of money. The 25-year-old has branched out from video making and now has his own fast food chain, Mr. Beast Burger. It hit the headlines this week when he sued the company behind the chain, claiming fans thought the food was revolting, but it's still YouTube that he is best known for. In November 2022, Forbes estimated he earned 54 millers, 42.8 in a year from the platform combined combining advertising revenue from videos and sponsorship deals. Since then, he has gained 60 million more subscribers on his main channel, taking his total to 172 million. And recently, he just hit 200 million subscribers, and he has several other channels with tens of millions of subscribers, including one for philanthropy and one for video games. It's unclear exactly how much money he actually pockets, though. Jimmy has become known for putting the money he makes back into his ultra-expensive videos, some of which take millions to produce. He told a podcast in June that he reinvests every penny I make. It is this approach to content that might begin to explain why the American YouTuber attracts such giant audiences because it allows him to raise the stakes. His biggest video to date with 472 million views recreated the Netflix hit Squid Game in real life, including a $456,000 prize fund. Contrast that with 2017, where his biggest videos included him saying Logan Paul 100,000 times over the course of 17 hours and one one where he tipped hundreds of dollars to pizza delivery drivers. Each received between 20 and 40 million views. Outside of his videos, Jimmy is known for his philanthropy as well as many business ventures. He has a licensed and charity that functions as a food bank to feed communities across the U.S. And he has helped raise tens of millions of dollars to help the environment. In addition to Mr. Beast Burger, part of a venture he is now trying to back out of, he has also launched a range of snacks called Feastables, which he says are consistently selling out in the U.S. and the U.K. Mr. Beast brand deals YouTubers can rely on ads to make up a chunk of their income, but sometimes that doesn't cover Mr. Beast's costs. For example, Jimmy revealed to his Twitter subscribers in July that his latest video, which cost an estimated $3 million to produce, had netted him $167,000 in ad payments after a few days. Even over the lifetime of the video, it would be unlikely to recoup the cost. That's where sponsorship deals come in. For some content creators, this can make up even more of their income than ads. Lucy Edwards, a YouTuber with 705,000 subscribers who became BBC Radio 1's first blind presenter in 2019, told the BBC that much of her income comes through these brand partnerships. I am currently the face of Pantene, a shampoo and hair care brand globally, she said. And then I also have more one-off campaigns quite regularly, possibly around four to five activations a month. We earn a minimal amount from TikTok and YouTube ads. She tends to rely on much shorter content than Jimmy, with her most popular video lasting just two and a half minutes in length, but racking up two million views. She said YouTubers like Mr. Beast could potentially earn more thanks to the length of his videos, which are typically between 10 and 20 minutes long. If you were a long form creator, having post roll, pre roll, mid roll ads, and your content is longer than eight minutes, you'll be getting a lot of ad revenue, she said. But all the brands also want short form content, so you've always got to have a balance of the two. Mr. Beast controversial moments. In 2018, the Atlantic, an American magazine and multi-platform publisher, explored allegations against Jimmy for using homophobic slurs on stream and in his videos. The North Carolina native had a knack for using such terms in his content and often used the word fag eat while interacting with fans and haters alike on Twitter. Apart from the casual usage of the F slur, Jimmy often joked about homosexuality during his teenage years, with the word gay being used as a punchline or a gag. On occasion, he even used the N-word while off screen screen as reported by Elijah Daniel on Twitter via a now-deleted tweet. Another controversy arose. On January 29th, 2023, Jimmy uploaded his latest video titled 1,000 Blind People See for the First Time to the Mr. Beast channel. As the name suggests, it featured yet another one of Mr. Beast's iconic philanthropic acts. Though quite a few fans commended the young content creator for his benevolent gesture, many were not impressed with the video. They went as far as to term Jimmy the Antichrist for trying to propagate
profit from people who suffer from serious disabilities. The internet was largely left divided, with many Twitterati suggesting greed was the only reason for this video being shot. However, the doctor who performed over 40 surgeries in less than 11 hours for the video stated that he felt that Jimmy was doing something that could benefit humanity overall. If Mr. Beast can light a fire, and if we can get governmental and private support behind it, we can end half of all the blindness in the world, without all that much cost, and with incredible gains in human productivity and human potential. Despite the controversial moments Mr. Beast has been a part of, his influence and popularity continues to be on the rise. As such, it was not much of a surprise for his fans when he appeared in a commercial for Super Bowl LVII. When he uploads, people click Jimmy's videos can be hard to categorize. They will typically involve a challenge, such as a video of surviving hours in Antarctica, or big cash prizes, a $1 million game of hide and seek for example. But his most recent video, in which a train is driven off its rails and into a giant pit, fails to fit that format. Steven Bridges, himself a YouTuber with 470,000 subscribers, told the BBC, it is Jimmy's creativity that has driven his growth. I think the interesting thing about Mr. Beast is his absolute dedication to making what he considers the best video possible. When he uploads, people click. They know that when they click on a Mr. Beast video, there's going to be a heck of a lot of effort gone into making it really entertaining. Bridges has reinvented himself on YouTube in recent years, moving from content around magic to card counting. His most popular video, showcasing a popular scam used to trick tourists in London, has been viewed 4.6 million times. It's really, really tricky to sustain a 10-year career on YouTube, he said. But Mr. Beast is just focusing on the one thing that really matters, putting the audience first and thinking, what can I give them that they're really going to love? One of the big reasons behind Jimmy's success on YouTube might simply be his likable personality. Even when he overtook PewDiePie to become the top content creator on the platform, his rival simply congratulated him and said he deserved it. But while Jimmy is the most subscribed individual user on YouTube, he is some way off having the biggest single YouTube channel. T-Series, an Indian music video publishing company, leads the way in that category with more than 246 million subscribers. But with over 200 million subscribers and counting, it would be a brave person who bets against Jimmy one day becoming the first YouTuber since PewDiePie to dethrone T-Series at the top. But logically speaking, Jimmy is the most subscribed to non-music content creator. And I don't think that anybody is coming for that throne anytime soon. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you want more content like this, subscribe and turn on the notification to never miss another update whenever we post a new video. That's all for today. See you very, very soon.